Yeah. <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one today. First evening dove hunt today. I have been driving and driving and driving. I have literally put on a couple hundred miles pretty easily scouting for dove. Yeah, a little ridiculous, right? Usually it's not that hard to find dove, but we don't have them. They're not in abundance like a lot of the other years. I don't know if it's because of the cool weather at night. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. If y'all are from Kansas and have been experiencing the same dove drought, let me know down in the comment section below, please. But before we're able to go dove hunting, I gotta check the pigeon traps. If you guys are new to the pigeon videos or haven't watched them, they're fun, they're awesome. Oh, look at that, ha ha. Two more in the bag, boys, look at that. I was kinda hoping I wasn't gonna have any in the trap because I gotta go dove hunting. It means I'm gonna have to take these home, put them in the loft temporarily. It's not a bad thing to be catching pigeons, but if you haven't watched any of the pigeon trapping videos, we're downtown in the heart of my city, in the heart of my town, it's not really a city, it's in between the size of a town and a city, pretty much. We're on top of rooftops, building rooftops, trapping pigeons. Here's this trap, nothing in that one. But real quick, check out that hat, that bottom lands pattern. Oh yes, even the fullback hat. The ones that are warm in the winter time, oh yeah. If you wanna pick one of these bad boys up, I will link it down in the description below. <sighs> but let's get these birds out of here. Well, I'm surprised I caught any. I wasn't really expecting to already. Yesterday I caught seven. Seven of them. It's really ramping up. There's the first one. Oh, he's an older bird. He's got some age to him. Second bird, it's a blue check. Decently old bird too. They both got some good age to them. No bands yet. So long story short to all you viewers that aren't used to the pigeon trapping video What we do with the pigeons we take them out to Jordan's place his whole barn has become an entire Massive pigeon loft. So we are keeping all the ones that we trap in his barn loft And eventually we're gonna have like two three four five hundred birds in there. Yeah, it's epic That's a day's pigeon duty right there the business owners will be happy. Uh, they asked me the other day, they're like, hey, how's it going up there? And I'm like, I trapped probably 30 to 40 total. They're like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's going good. Well, we are at the field finally. Uh, it's right at about 5.15 in the afternoon. Doing our first little dove afternoon evening shoot. Today I figured, you know what? We might as well do a little challenge. Me and Jordan, Jordan's out here. Uh, Wade and Nick is also on the way. They're probably gonna sit down here a little bit. We're gonna spread out probably two and two. But me and Jordan, we're gonna do a little challenge video. If you haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, you need to. I will link it down in the description below. Sorry for the wind. Well, nice to meet you out here. I uh, know, I'm you know, just sort of passing through. Yeah, just passing through, <laughs> don't mind me but I'm pretty sure they've uh, missed the old competition shoots between you and I. Yeah. You guys have been requesting it a lot. We haven't been able to go on any farm shoots lately. Your boy's been out of town, just busy. He's been busy with work. We've both just been busy, okay? But we're out here today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see who can shoot the most, shoot or, the most. or limit out the fastest. Limit out the fastest? Do you just... think it's gonna happen today? Yeah. Do you think a limit will yeah. be had by somebody I, today? I mean, two of them just landed right there, like, there he goes. Okay, well, I better strap up the GoPro and we better get to hucking shells here, boys. Now, a lot of you have been DMing me on Instagram, shooting comments down in the comment section, being like, Bobby, what choking shot do you use? I'm gonna go through it real quick. I, I, I like to give you guys the gear that I'm using, you know, guns, shells, chokes. Uh, I am not affiliated with Franke, but I do have a 12 gauge Franke affiliate affinity and i'm using a carlson cremator long range i'm not taking it out of my gun this year a lot of you guys know that i would switch between it and the mid-range for ducks and geese i'm too used to it once you get used to a full choke you'll never go back i'm telling you what you're using the same Ooh, that's a you need some oil on that there choke son yep. 
not oil on. That's why it looks like it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's that's just like all a, sorts of nasty. Yeah, that's that tan color. It almost yeah. looks rusty, but it's the color of the yep. choke. Uh -huh. There's one of those fancy ones. Yep. On sale though. <laughs> yeah. But Jordan, he's running the cremator long range choke as well from yep. Carlson. He loves it. Uh, it does work. I shot one yesterday at 62 yards. So. Are you I ever like gonna them. change back to a mid-range or anything else, you think? Only if I wanna get real mad. <laughs> yeah. If I wanna get real mad, then I will. Right? But there's no reason to. I'll tell you, once you're used to a full choke, it's hard to get away from it, I'm serious. But look, right here, over your head, shoot him. Uh oh, oh, should put a oh. oh, you weren't loaded? No. No, he was perfect. All right, we gotta get, we gotta get grinding here, boys. But if you guys are liking the video so far, if you're pumped for the little competition shoot, smash that thumbs up button right now for you boys. Ah. Yep, first blood. First blood of the day. Oh, that was that would have been a poke anyways. First blood of the day, Jordan's on the board. Wade's calling. Uh nope. Yeah, I go west and when you when you go past the corn, you'll turn in south and you'll see our vehicles. Hold on. Yeah, you'll see him after you get past the corn. Oh, there we go. Oh, long shooter. I don't think I had my GoPro on for that. Oh, I did have it on good. There we go. Two down, baby. Thank goodness to Jordan. He was like right over your head. Yeah, buddy. Those were long shooters. I'm gonna have to walk it off going back and see how far these dudes were. Now, I know one of the comments right now is gonna be, why didn't you take Fred? Here's the reason why Fred isn't here, guys. Because this is an evening hunt and it's hot, it's hot. I would spend more time trying to keep Fred cooled off than I would actually hunting. Right now it's just too hot for him in the evenings. I hope that you guys can appreciate that. First bird, there he is right there. You know what would be awesome is a banded dove. Can you imagine how one in a million that would be? I should have brought more shells with me. I only got one in my gun. And this bird should be right here somewhere. Oh, he's going to keep his distance on me. Still searching. Still searching. Cannot find my second bird I downed. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. It's a piece of trash. Cannot find it anywhere. That was a long shooter. That one dead. Storm seen that one. He, oh maybe. Well, Jordan's on the board with another one. I only got, I got two down, but only found one. That's great. He got completely annihilated, dude. That bird went, just blew up. Your shot, Nicholas. Smash him. Smash him. Oh, he dead. That boy is all sorts of dead. I don't know who shot him. I can't claim that one. We got old Storm though. Wade brought Storm. She is uh, loving it out here. These small birds, somewhat tall grass. It's a struggle. Dude, that's every bit of a 50 yarder there. Golly, old Wade with the hammer. Going down. He went down out there. He took it like a champ and just kept on gliding. Well, old Jordan just cleaned up house on that gig. He was already out in the field and uh, he wasn't all the way dead, got up and shot him. So that's one freebie for old Jordan. Well, go down, you f Well, the action is a lot slower from uh, the last two hunts that you guys seen, the last two dove hunts that is, a lot slower. Uh, the evenings are cool, so I think a lot of dove are leaving at night. It just gets really cool out, and then it heats back up during the day. Um, we don't have a lot of wheat fields that are, that are cut and belled around here. There's not a whole bunch, and that's what it seems like you're really shooting them on, is the belled wheat fields. We have no corn off yet, no silage corn even hardly at all, so, the availability for good dove fields is limited, so they're not here. Sorry to say, it stinks. I know.
But I think I got, uh, I shot three. I found two of my birds, still looking for the third one. I know Jordan, he's absolutely destroying me. I think he's got six in his pile, and then I don't know what he has on his person, so he is destroying me. But he's way out yonder. He's actually walking around and giving it a, a hard go. So props to him, he's getting it done. Well, missed that one. That was a bit of a poke, but oh, they got that one. That's a good fly line down yonder. Way better than over here. One thing guys, always remember to pick up your empty shells. We got a bird on the ground on the other side of the mojos here. Let's see if I can, oh, there he goes. Coming your way, dude. oh. Going straight towards. Oh, got him. That was a long shooter there. Old Jordan tagged him. Woo, it's a hot one out here. I don't think I've shot for the last probably 30, 40 minutes probably. It's just really died off. None of us have had any good shooting here for the last 30 minutes for sure. Go ahead and kill old Leroy here. But the challenge, as far as the challenge goes, old, uh, old Jordan here completely whooped my butt. His tactic, walking around, hunting them like pheasants, worked a lot better than me just sitting on my on my bucket. But I think I probably walked about three miles too. You went up and down this field quite a bit. But that's the way to do it. Yeah, I need to, something need to move around. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because hopefully, I was hoping to at least move some stuff where if you would come in, I think most of your stuff was probably not coming. From, well, there's one. How about oh, that cool. guy just, hey buddy. But the tactic today, move around. There's a lot of field here. They wanted to land out in the center of it. We're hunting the edge pretty much. Got to move them around, got to bump them up, got to keep them moving, you know what I mean? But if you guys like this video, be sure you smash the thumbs up. I know it wasn't completely crazy like some of the pigeon hunts that Jordan and I do, but it's dove season, and you get out here just to get some wing shooting in. It isn't about limiting out, it isn't about shooting your limit every time, guys. I know the last couple videos we shot a bunch, but the season, I think the dove season is going to come to an end really, really quickly being that it's getting really cool at night. So, get out there while you can, guys. Enjoy it while it's here, uh, but we should all be looking forward to that duck action. You ready for that oh, duck action? That sounds like fun. Oh, I'm that, so ready. Hold a lot less walking than this is. Yeah, you're sweating up bullets. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm ready for teal. If y'all are ready for teal, let me know down in the comments. If you have any suggestions that you want me and Jordan to do, let me know. Check this out. We just sat out the trap here at the truck stop. Oh my, that's the most I've ever caught in the spring trap. Hold on, Bubba. We got Bubba with us this morning. It is the next day. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna drop the video yet. We gotta go check the pigeon traps. Got our new little transport cage that Jordan made for us. Check this out. Oh my. Four of them in there. I have never caught four in the spring trap. I'm glad I got out here when I did. We got birds, Bubba. We got birds. All right, easy, 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 easy. Come here, dude. Calm down. We got birds, Bubba. Bodie's back there. He's yelling. He's so excited. <laughs> we got birds, Bubba. We got birds. Still waiting on a banded bird. These are young guys here. Yeah, they're squeakers. Those two that I pulled out so far, they are definite squeakers. This guy here, he's middle-aged guy, pretty young still. I cannot believe we caught four of them in the spring trap. That's gnarly. I have never caught more than one at a time in the spring trap. They're all the same age birds, middle-aged bird. No bands yet, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm gonna reset this bad boy real quick check that out wow winter the cold weather isn't even here yet and we are trapping them like crazy i just put out that spring trap bubba we got birds you want to see them look dude oh isn't that cool we caught four of them in the spring trap buddy what do you think um, well, I them. you like them you want to take them home? Okay. Wow. 
caught two yesterday on another video four today wow it's really picking up we're gonna be catching a lot of these pigeons um, so I've only had the trap back out here at the truck stop for literally only I don't know that trap hasn't even been out here for 10 12 hours probably at most Wow they're coming here hard boys we better get out we better get out of here so we can let them pigeons come back Bubba <laughs> Woo! well that's a killer way to end the video I was gonna do a catch and clean and cook on the video uh, because we needed something at the end I'm like we didn't shoot many uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cook some which I'm still gonna obviously cook them but I'm glad we brought the camera I'm glad we came and checked the old spring trap that was good stuff they're all getting off the ground they're feeding we are here at Jordan's barn the big pigeon barn that is seems like I'm ending more and more videos here putting pigeons in Jordan's loft if you're new to these videos that's what we do with the pigeons we trap them and then we put them in here Jordan has turned his entire barn his whole upper section into a full-on pigeon loft and look how many we got in here it is getting full I'm getting to be a bunch of birds in here boys I think I've put somewhere around maybe 25 to 30 in here uh, now with these man I bet you I've put I bet you we're getting close to 30 35 maybe but it is looking beautiful this will hold a bunch of birds I mean you're talking this will hold 200 birds easily so we have a long ways to go but I don't think it's gonna take very long to uh, to fill it up to be quite honest but let's let these guys out of here we got six of them today caught the two yesterday and then four today in the spring trap that was gnarly I cannot believe we caught four in one go in the spring trap go on buddy that was wild the most I've ever caught in the spring trap was one at a time come on guys get out go meet your new buddies go on go on Go on, go on. Go on, go on. There we are. Look at them. Like, we're just going to sit right here for a minute. Check it out. It is lovely in here. Look at all of them. Woo, looking good. It is looking good. But I hope you guys are liking the videos. I hope you guys, uh, are enjoying me mixing them up a little bit mixing the hunting with the pigeon trapping if you guys like that you have to let me know down in the comment section if you like that be like Bobby yes trapping plus hunting thumbs up or maybe just give me a thumbs up down there that will let me know that you guys like the hunting and the trapping because once winter comes around I've been talking about winter and when it gets cold we're gonna be trapping an absolute pile of pigeons new buildings new areas new traps new tactics cold weather it's gonna be prime we are gonna absolutely fill this place up now trapping's not taking over the channel by no means we're gonna have our duck hunting we're gonna have our goose hunting we're gonna have our honker hunting our snow goose hunting just like normal but this is something new and I'm enjoying it I really hope you guys are too subscribe if you haven't hit that little notification bell down there it takes 0.2 seconds Smash the thumbs up button if you guys like this video, but we will see y'all on the next one. Be sure, real quick, check out that hat, that new camo hat from Ducks. I will link it down in the description below. Go pick one up if you want to help support the channel. Whenever you guys do pick up something from Ducks, it does. It goes directly to supporting your boy and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. But we will see y'all on the next one. Peace! Audio